guys, it's Sarah and today is Bookless Thursday. This is a video series that I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are going to do a try a chapter tag. And this is something we've been talking about doing for a little bit. And we're finally doing it. So we decided that we would go to our local libraries, we would pick up some books, and we would try a chapter in them. And something that I did was I went along my Amazon wish list and kind of picked some books that I thought, I'm really, I'm really interested in these. Let's see if I can read the first chapter and see what I think and see if any of them really pique my interest and then I know maybe I can purchase them or maybe some will make me take them off my wish list. That could be interesting. And then we are going to pick one of these books to actually add to our TBRs in March. So I went to my local library and I picked up five different books. And the first one that I grabbed is The Beauty of the Moment. And this one is by Tanaz Bethina. This is a young adult book. I don't fully remember the entire topic of it, um, but I did hear about it from Books and Lala on her channel. And I believe uh, it's a young girl who is Saudi Arabian. Her family is Saudi Arabian and they move their family from there to Canada, but their father, the father is kind of living in both places and more in Saudi Arabia. And it seems like he might be pulling away from his marriage a little bit. And I think there's a lot of pressure on this young girl to have good grades and do good in school and do all these things and kind of put on more of an appearance than anything. And she is more of an artist and wants to be a little bit more free. And so she's struggling with that kind of thing. So um, this book is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to lie. The cover might have been one of the reasons that I put this on my wish list in the first place. So we'll see what the first chapter does. This next one is definitely one that intrigues me probably the most out of this whole pile. And that is Docile. And this is by K.M. Sparza. This is a book that is almost a, I don't want to say post-apocalyptic, but definitely something has happened to the United States. And there's you know, cities kind of crumbling everywhere and people are having to be on survival mode. I think it's a little bit of a sci-fi twist in here as well. And the whole premise of being a docile is it's a program that you can register for and you're basically selling yourself to almost be enslaved to a rich person. And you have to do whatever this person asks. They actually drug you <laughs> into submission, basically. Um, there can be some sex things happening at the same time for some, for some of them. And basically, you are at the whim of whoever practically owns you. And the reason that you go into this program is because if you do this for a certain amount of time, your debts to society will be paid off. You're not going to owe any more money. Your family can get out of poverty, all that kind of stuff. So this sounds incredibly interesting to me. And I am uh, definitely this, like I said, this is the one that's probably the most interesting to me out of this whole pile. The next one I got is... Upstairs at the White House. This is by J.B. West. Now this has a new cover recently. It's so pretty. <laughs> uh, they did not have that cover option in my library. So I did grab, I think this is probably the original cover. And this was actually published in the 70s. And uh, it follows J.B. West. So this is a nonfiction. And J.B. West is actually someone who worked in the White House and worked for, he works in the upstairs, like the family quarters basically where the family lives in the white house versus work like there's the working portion of the white house and the living quarters he worked in the living quarters and he worked there under multiple presidents and multiple families and he kind of writes about his experiences working with some of the people and some of them are the kennedys and i think the roosevelts i want to say six different presidents wow that's a lot oh here we go okay so he worked under the Roosevelts, the Trumans, the Eisenhowers, the Kennedys, the Johnsons, the Nixons. The Nixon one will be interesting, definitely. But there's pictures in here, and I'm really interested. I've heard really good things. It's been recommended to me, actually. And so uh, we'll see how the first chapter goes in this one, too. 
The next one I grabbed is one that was recommended to me recently and that is Betty and this is by Tiffany McDaniel and this follows a family who is living in the Appalachian Mountains I believe a portion in Ohio and it is um I believe they're living in poverty and there's a lot of violence happening around them and within their family unfortunately and I believe a lot of these are inspired by the author's actual family. Um, it's not a nonfiction, it is a fiction book, but I think a lot of the inspiration came from things that she's learned about her family over the years. Uh, so yeah, but this one's huge. I did not realize it was going to be this big when I went in and grabbed it, but we'll see how the first chapter goes. And the last one that I grabbed is actually a graphic novel, you guys. I don't really read graphic novels, but I grabbed this one because it's one that has always interested me and so many people talk about this graphic novel. Even people who don't normally read them have loved it. So I picked up Saga Volume 1. And I figured if I wanted to give it a try, which I have been wanting to give it a try for a while, I figured getting it from the library would be the best way to go because I can really make a decision. I'm probably not going to want to own them for the long run just because graphic novels are not my preferred medium to read. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but this is a science fiction graphic novel that follows um, these two characters who are married. However, they are part of enemy species and they are, I think for them to even be together is almost illegal, but they are married and they have an offspring. <laughs> so I think they kind of have to live their lives on the run because of it. But we'll see how it goes. Graphic novel. Okay, so I am going to read the first chapter of all of these books, including the graphic novel, and we're going to do that vlog style. I'm going to probably have to take a couple days to do that. And from there, we will pick one to add to my March TBR. So let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, so we are going to go ahead and get started with this one. I'm going to go ahead and read the first chapter of this and see what I think. It's eight pages long, so we'll see what can happen in eight pages. <laughs> but... I'm really excited for this one. Of the entire stack, I think this is the one I'm like would already be leaning towards, but try chapter for a reason, right? So let's see what the first chapter does here. Okay, guys, I moved rooms because my children are up, which means the TV's on now. <laughs> so I moved in here so I could have it quiet. Okay, first chapter of this. All of the yes. I loved it. I love the way this is written. The writing is really, really good. We open up with our main character, Elisha, and he has made the decision that he is going to go into the docile program or register for it so that he can pay off his family's debts. And it's a really hard decision for him because his family is not in a great position as far as debt. His mother is uh, not mentally there anymore because she was in the program and his younger sister has some medical issues and there was talk of getting her into the program because she can make a lot of money and he's not having that so he's basically sacrificing his own life to pay off his family debts so you see him making that decision and getting the process started for uh going to get registered for it and just the first chapter i was hooked like yeah so Definitely very, very strong contender for this one already. Okay, so while I'm sitting here and have a few more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and read the first chapter of Saga. Now, I got lucky in that these are divided into chapters, so I can read chapter one of this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That shouldn't take me very long at all. And um, we'll see what I think about this. Yeah, okay, guys, I read the first chapter of this, and I kind of loved it. Like, who am I? I don't... I don't read <laughs> graphic novels. I've read a couple here and there, but they never were anything that I just really enjoyed necessarily. But I actually kind of loved this. So we open up with um, these two here on the cover. And they are a couple. They are married, but they are from enemy... I don't want to call them, I guess, races maybe... Um, and they end up having a child together, which is a big no-no, and they are basically on the run from the law because everyone is realizing that they are together now, they're not supposed to be, and so they're on the run from everybody, basically. And I kind of loved it. Yeah, so this is another contender. 
Hey guys, okay, it's a little bit later in the day, but um, I have a little bit more time before I have to actually go start cooking dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here, um, the beauty of the moment. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. I'm not, this is not one that I'm super excited about. So I'm a little bit more iffy. Um, just not sure if it would be something I'd super enjoy. So we'll just see how the first chapter is. I think it's about um, 12 pages. So let's see how this one is. Okay, one thing I will say is that these chapter headers are gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. So, A plus on that. Okay, guys, so I read the first chapter of this one, and it's a real basic setup for um, our main character, Susie, and her family dynamic. They are a Saudi Arabian family, and um, she and her mother are living in Canada. The, her family moved her there, but her father is still living and working in Saudi Arabia. So they're separated from him right now. Um, and it, that comes with constant promises from him that he's going to like get everything settled over there and then move back with them. But he's not doing that. Um, and it's kind of the expectations of her um, as their daughter and, you know, just things like that. So nothing super special for me. It didn't really hold my interest all that much. It actually took me longer to read this than I was expecting. I thought I would kind of fly through it, but like, I just got a little distracted and it wasn't really pulling me in. So, um, yeah, I don't know about this one. All right. Uh, we are going to finish up the last two books right now and then I need to make a decision on which one I'm going to add to my TBR in March. So I still have two more to go. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one, Upstairs at the White House by J.B. West. So this one has a prologue, so like an intro, and then he goes into the different presidents or the presidencies that he served and um, each one has chapters within those sections, if that makes any sense. So I think the f intro and the first chapter of the Roosevelt's are together nine pages. So I'm going to go ahead and just read those because it's only nine pages long. And we will see what's going on with this one. You guys. Okay. Yeah, Riley's next to me here as well. <laughs> so his feet are right here. Um, okay. First thing, like when I talked about this, this is probably one of like the original cover and like the original book. So when I first opened it, like book oh, poor thing it's been it's been beat up but look there's an original like due date where they stamp it and then like there's a, a second one on the back here and the first time someone checked this out was October 27th 1978 you guys that's 20 days after I was born my birthday is October 7th 1978 like look there's 1978 stamps in here how cool is that and then even over here too gets into november and then it jumps to 80 and 81 and 97 like that's a big jump so like i wonder um if they started you know going like more electronic or something but there's still a couple of things in here like how cool is that but i just i got a kick out of this so like the first time someone checked this out was 20 days literally after i was born so that's kind of crazy okay guys i read the forward for this and the first chapter of the roosevelt's and i really enjoyed it i thought it was really interesting there was talk about especially in the roosevelt part about president roosevelt's being in a wheelchair and how he tried to conceal that a lot um, as to not make him look weak, I guess, to other people. And some of the links that they went to to try to kind of conceal that and, you know, not make it super obvious. So that was really interesting. I'm totally, like, I totally want to read this. Um, so, yeah, I really liked it. Okay, so last one. We're going to read Betty. So I have... There's a prologue, which is two pages, and then the first chapter is, uh, I think, about 13 pages or so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, still got Riley here with me. He's shifting around a little bit. But yeah, so let's see what this one's all about. Okay, so read this. Um, I don't like the dialogue. <laughs> the dialogue is very repetitive, 
just they're saying the same things almost twice in one sentence or the same words twice in one sentence and I don't know I just it it bothered me like I just I don't know that I can read a whole big huge book if it's gonna have dialogue like this the whole time so I don't know if this one's gonna be for me or not so yeah didn't didn't love it Okay, so now it's time to make a decision on what I'm going to add to my March TBR. So in conclusion, loved this, want to own this, like I want this on my shelves. So like I, I need, I need to purchase this <laughs> at some point. Um, loved this, surprisingly. Where did that come from? Really... Oh gosh, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to do this one-handed here. Really enjoyed this one as well. I think this one's really interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to purchase it or not, or just like read a library copy of it or something. I don't know if this is on audio either. I don't know if it would, I don't know. I'd have to look into that maybe, possibly. Um, but I did really enjoy um, the first chapter in that one. And then this one here. Not so much. It really didn't capture my attention. I kind of just didn't really care about the first chapter. So I don't think I'm going to continue or read this one at all. Um, so not that one. And then uh, this one here. I just, I didn't like the dialogue in it. So it was, um, I didn't enjoy my first read of that. So I don't think I'm going to be getting to that one at all. Okay, so basically it's probably between these two right now, as far as my enjoyment. Um, so for this one, like I said, I wanna buy this book. Like I want a physical copy of this book on my shelves. So this one, I'm gonna save it for that um, because it is a little bit of a longer book, but I loved this first chapter and I'm so intrigued by this. And I just, I wanna have a physical copy on my shelves. So because of that, I'm gonna not read it from the library. I'm gonna wait until I have a physical copy to read this one. Um, so for now, I am going to add this one to my TBR. And I think this is also pretty smart because it is very short. I can do this in one day easy. Um, I do have kind of a big March TBR coming up. That'll be coming up this weekend. Um, so I do have some pretty big plans for March. So I think this is probably the smarter way to go. And I legitimately did love this. And I'm very interested to see um, how the rest of this is going to go. So this is going to be added to my... March TBR. Okay guys, that is going to be it for me today. So make sure you go check out Lindsay's video where she also has a triad chapter tag with five books from her library as well. I'm really interested to see what she thinks of her picks. So make sure you go check her out. I'll have her link down below. I will also have all of these books linked down below. Um, if you guys, if you guys are interested in checking any of these out, I will have them all linked as well. And I hope you do. And we will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.